it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I'm actually coming at you with an office store, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to jump in front of the camera for just a second to say hi and welcome to my channel. I have enjoyed making videos for you guys for the last year so, so much, and I am really excited to bring you this tour of my office. Honestly, the office is like my favorite room in the house at this point. We just, I just love everything that I've done in here, and it's just like such a fun, crafting and workspace so I do use it for working and obviously for all of my crafting and planner related things and then my husband does use it sometimes as well but it's mostly my space so anyway enjoy the office tour so getting started with a 360 view of the room to help get you oriented we do have a two wall desk that is from Ikea. It's actually three desks that are just pushed together. And then um, as well, we have Alpha Storage, which it runs along, along both of the walls above the desks. And that is from the container store. Um, and it also runs below, or we have shelving below on one of the sides as well, because this is the desk that we don't sit at. It's for printers and cutting and that kind of stuff. So, and then the desk chair is also from Ikea. Um, and we have a monitor and my little like working station that both my husband and I use to do work. And then over here we have a little filming zone with like a wall mount and my phone holder. Um, I do film on like a digital camera, but I also take pictures on my phone quite often. So that is what's over there. And then spinning from there, you can see the door that I walked in. Um, the walls are pretty blank in here and the walls are just white, but we do have on this wall, um, we have a Kalax four cube, a tall thin bookshelf and then a closet. This is a bedroom that we converted so it has a really nice sized closet which is stuffed with fabric, my sewing machine, um, a filing cabinet and is kind of a mess so I'm not going to show you in there. Um, there's nothing planner related in there although there is some like extra crafting supplies. So on the bookshelf um, we just have, I've taken all the pictures down because as you guys know I don't show, or you may or may not know, I don't show pictures of my kids on social media. So I've taken all of the family photos down, which is why the shelves look a little bit bare. But hey, I do have um, a bunch of cooking bo uh, cookbooks, some Harry Potter books, some Lord of the Rings, and a bunch of like pregnancy and baby books. Most of our fiction is in the living room um, or on my Kindle. But anyway, and I do just leave this shelf most blank although it usually has some pictures to like stage things I'm currently working on or have a place to can slip things right now I just have my work computer and my cell phone on there so then in this drawer we have um, extra supplies like extra whiteout extra crafting tape extra paper clips extra pens um, just some like basic supplies that are all you know just kind of stockpiles of those kinds of things and then in this bottom drawer it is stuffed top to bottom with a vinyl and I do a lot of vinyl making on my silhouette and that drawer is completely full of vinyl and then also like the backing to the transfer tape and stuff like that but yeah this drawer is top to bottom full of, of vinyl for the silhouette machine. Mostly I have like work stuff and some extra tools and jump drive stuff in the top four drawers so I won't show you that but in the two bottom ones I do have an assortment of gift wrapping supplies in this drawer. Um, more gift wrapping stuff and larger ones are in the closet and then I also have um, a, a bin full of uh, paint and painting supplies, mostly geared towards like crafting with the kids. Um, some stuff that I do myself, but mostly geared towards like the finger painting type um, ideal. And you can see something that my daughter was actually painting on by accident while we were painting something else, but I have that stuffed in there. So oh, zooming in on my shelving and my desk, which I think is probably what most people want to see. Up at the top, I have these white storage bins from Target, and they're just full of all different kinds of like ribbon and jewelry making supplies and odds and ends. Um, I like that you can't really see in them because then they can be messy and it doesn't bother me. And then coming down from there, I have my wall of pens and my utility board, which I will go get closer to in a minute. And then on my desk, all the way to the left, I have 
my Simply Gilded washi, and then this is my filming center. So you can see my cell phone clip and a wall mount. Um, I typically film on a digital camera, but I take pictures on my phone. My Erin Codron is right on my desk right now. It doesn't stay there all week. I put it away when I'm not working on it, but I just thought it looked nice while I was filming this. Then I have uh, my pre-planning insert, which is clipped up to the, the bottom shelf there. Um, and that I do use when I'm filming. I just clip that open to the right page so I can see my pre-planning notes while I'm filming. Next to that, I have my character sticker storage and a little divider, letter divider, mail divider, um, where which I use to store stickers that I'm like currently using and I want to have out. Then I do have my bullet journal and my B6 Traveler's Notebook right on my desk and I have my ring bound planner, personal wide ring bound planner, which is my current everyday planner, um, open in front of my computer right now. I just slide that around. That one goes with me everywhere. The other two have been mainly staying in my office lately. Um, so zooming in a little bit closer, I do have this tray from the Target Dollar Spot and these two little trays, which are also from the Target Dollar Spot. This one is full of clips that I'm like currently using um, and that I've maybe just taken off the planner in a moment. I just like to have a place to put those right now. And then this one is just some sort of like an assortment of extra paper clips. I am very obsessed with having clips. And then I do have a bin full of my most commonly used pens. So I have a Pigma Microns in a variety of sizes, some Sharpie Ultra Fines, a Tombow Dual Brush Pen in black, a Uniball Signo in white, a pencil, um, a a Tombow um, Funeske brush pen, and as well this pen, which is from the Happy Scrappy April sub box, which is like my favorite random pen. So I use that for writing quite a bit. So that is what is on my desk right there in my like most commonly used pen space. So zooming up from there to take a look at my utility board. Like I said, I do like to keep this pretty decorative and I like pretty much anytime I get a new journaling card that I really like, I'll just clip it up there. I change these out quite frequently so it looks like decorative, but I also am utilizing this space. I have my, so bringing you in close in this drawer, I have like cutting tools and um, a bone folder. So this is my sort of like you, my stuff for use I use for making inserts and cutting washi while I'm planning. And then I like to stick like what sometimes if I'm using a washi, I will just stick them on these hooks right here. And then coming back above that, I have some other pens. This is my collection. This is my collection of pen gems, my other decorative pens, and this is a selection of just like some black and other frequently used pens that didn't quite make the cut into my bottom barrel. And sliding over from there, I have a bin full Sliding over from there, I have a bin full of like frequent planner supplies, some glue sticks, um, a corner rounder, whiteout eraser, uh, my tweezers, my whiteout, I think I already said that. But yeah, so that I just keep right there so I can pull that down while I'm planning. Next to that, I have my zebra mild liners and then my favorite teardrop paper clips, which just looked like this in an assortment of colors. Up from there, I have extra computer cords and camera batteries, and then my scissors. And then up in the corner, we have just some other random supplies, and that top bin is full of washi cards, like real washi cards that I had made for previous setups, but um, that have like actual amounts of washi in them. The other washi cards that are just decorative, I store with my die cuts. Um, and then just another selection of things, some extra pegs for this board, etc. So I really love the way this looks um, and the stuff that I keep in it. Moving over to my wall of pens, on the top shelf I have my least common pens, so working from left to right I have some chalk markers, some extras of black pens that like I am currently using but 
I will rotate extras in when the other ones run out. Um, some, just a random assortment of markers and extra pens that are just actually mostly let my daughter color with those now. Um, next to that I have paint pens and then next to that are my Crayola Super Tips and then uh, a storage cup from Target that is full of extra supplies for the utility boards so like extra pegs and stuff like that. On the next shelf down from that, again working left to right, I have colored gel pens, Pentel sign brush pens, um, other gel pens, and then my Sharpie Ultra Fines, and then my hot glue gun, which is in a mug that I stuck a Simply Gilded bow on. Then on the next two shelves down from there, um, I have the last of my pens. Again, more black pens that are sort of like extras or not in use right now. My collection of Tombow dual brush pens, my um, Papermate flare pens, and then my Pentel sign brush pens, and as well my metallic pens. And then underneath that is where I keep like stickers. Um, so again, I have the mail divider with the stickers currently in rotation. And then I have my character uh, sticker collection just tucked over there. I just like to have it right there even though the other stickers are all on my, all my other stickers are on the other wall. So the way I currently have my character stickers stored is in these little photo albums and um, some of them have names on it and then the newer ones don't. So I have Scribblers and Fox and Pip Girls, um, just other miscellaneous ones um, and including a bunch of samplers or samplers that I think I will use. I put samplers I don't think I will use in a D-stash file. Um, this is Hello Petite Paper and Toffee Banana Doodles. Um, so I guess not character stickers, but like functional deco-y type stickers. Dinos and Once More With Love. And then this is a new one that I just made for Paper and Milk. So I probably will add another character into the back of that if I find another character that I really like. But basically stuff goes, starts in the miscellaneous folder. And then as I bleep, Stuff starts in the miscellaneous folder and then as I add to my collection, I end up breaking it out or doubling it up into one of these albums. So again, from there, you can see that I have a binder clip and my Rock Your Notebook pre-planning insert in there, which is just blank. Um, and I like to keep that clipped there. I mean, I take it down to write in it and I put it in my bullet journal, take it or pull it, put it in my traveler's notebook, take it out. But that is where it sits while I am filming. And then I do have my Simply Gilded washi situated right next to my filming center as well. You can't see it for while I'm on camera, but I'm able to reach to it if I want to grab some washi. So I will show you my collection really quickly um, because I think people like that. So starting from the bottom drawer, I have my silver bows. This did just my this was just silver and hollow, but it got full, so I pulled all of the non bows out of it. Then I have a rose gold, hot gold. Um, and these are two drawers stacked on top of each other. This is my champagne gold, and then this is where I put my silver non bows and then as well I have my pink foil up there and then my top drawer is completely empty. I do sometimes put like die cuts and other staging items that I use in here like if I've been using something a lot lately when I take my pictures I put it in there. So again then on this wall I just have an arm mount and a cell phone mount um, for filming and taking pictures. The boom arm was a really great, it was only $15 and it was like pretty much a game changer in terms of filming. And then as well, that cell phone mount um, is really handy for taking photographs. And that is it for this wall. Um, so I will slide over to the other side. So moving to the other wall and starting with the top shelf, I just have, again, some random stuff at the top, like things I don't use very frequently. That pink box is full of like baby keepsakes and photographs and my baby book. Um, there's just like some folders up there and an old paper trimmer. Then the next shelf down from there, I have some notebooks that I'm not currently using as well as my collection of um, ring binders and traveler's notebooks that are not currently being used or aren't currently set up. And next to that, I have my non simply gilded washi, which is in a, like a lazy Susan. Um, and then next to that, 
or going along that shelf. Then I have a bunch of the little like folders and those are all full of my old TN setups and other old things that I've made and they're just like categorized by sort of like their theme, etc. And then next to that I have scrapbook paper from like those big scrapbooking books. Um, going then to the next shelf down from there all the way to the right I have my uh, stuff for TN setups that I'm currently or about to be working on. So right now I have some Harry Potter stuff and some winter stuff in there since those are going to be my next setups. And then in the two bins next to that, I have my collection of dashboard. Um, then the two bins next to that, I have inserts so that are already made. Um, some are from shops where they're printed and some that I've already just printed myself but I'm not using yet. And one bin is full of unused inserts and one bin is full of used inserts and then I have just plain uh, plain cardstock that's in uh, mostly pink but a variety of colors. Focusing in on the next section I do have this end capped with all of my Simply Gilded subscription boxes just serving a decorative uh, function right there. I just like the way they look all piled up. And then I have the binders that make up most of my storage collection. Oh, this is my entire sticker storage collection for non kits. Um, basically, I have used kits in two binders and as well random sheets of like functional items from grab bags and old color clubs and multicolors and stuff like that. And then in the mini binders, I have um, the first three are actually not stickers there for uh, like TN setups and ring setups. So I have die cuts, um, TN stuff, which is just like vinyls and the bow seal stickers, things like that. And then journaling cards. And then on from there, I have all of my foil is in these three binders and the three um, photo albums next to it. And those are five by seven photo albums. And they have my silver, gold, and rose gold all split out by metal as well as the binders. So in the binders, I keep stuff that I call pre-pull. So like date covers, anything in colors that had to coordinate with the kits, um, things like that. And then the photo albums, like character stickers, are full of all of my scripts and functional icon stuff that can be used in any spread. And that is how I separate my foil. Next to that, I have one of those sticker albums to put like leftovers on, which I haven't started using yet, but I really want to start using that. And then I have my actually, I have my Scribble Prince Go um, advent calendar, which I haven't like put away yet because I don't want to put it away um, before I can use it and I don't want to spoil it for anyone. And then I just have a notebook that I sometimes use for lettering practice or to like just write stuff down in um, and capping that and the uh, bookends are from Target. Next to that is where I actually keep my Erin Codron notebook uh, planner when it's not being used. I have a planner case and then I have my hourly planner which I'm not currently using also there from Erin Codron. And then that mail divider is my kit storage system. It looks kind of chaotic but it's actually a really cool system and that is going to be a separate video from this. So I will show you all how that works and the way that I store and organize my kits um, coming soon. Soon. So hanging from the bottom of those shelves on above my um, second utility board is my collection of bow clips and charms. Um, the clip, the charms are on the top shelf, the top or uh, the front one over here. Just a variety of ones, and I just have them hooked on with lobster wire. This is actually jewelry jewelry wire that I ran along here. I got the idea from the Kanko XOXO Facebook group where someone was doing it on a hanger, and I just thought, oh well, that would be really cool to do under the desk. And then in the back, I have all of my uh, various clips, and on the far end, my Studio Signe bookmark charms, the ones that aren't currently in use. So going down from there, I have a second utility board. Um, this one is like a little bit more decorative than functional, but I do keep all of my sticky notes in here and I use sticky notes quite a bit. And then as well, I have an assortment of binder clips and other odds and ends that I just keep in here. Um, pen loops that I'm not using, different things like that. But mostly, uh, my pen, mostly I think this looks really nice and I have all of my sticky notes and notepads over there. 
So coming across these shelves, um, this is a little bit more bare than the other side, but this is a lot of shelving. Um, I have a mail divider that's full of just like mail or things that haven't been filed yet, like any bills that I might have, stuff like that. So paperwork actually gets kept in there. That pink storage bin with the lemon um, on it is actually my D-stash bin. So whenever I get a sampler or a journaling card that I don't think I'll use, I just kind of stick it in there and then I enclose those in extra orders on the buy-sell trade. I gift them to friends if I think it's something that they would like, etc. And then I have some em empty of those like storage containers that I like from the Target dollar spot. Um, that I use to hold pens and things. Next to that I have Next to that, I have my Fiskars paper trimmer and a pencil sharpener. And beneath that, I actually have um, that shelf. I keep more de-stashed stuff. So I have some uh, Foxy Fix notebooks from a mystery sale that I haven't de-stashed yet. Um, I was trying to trade them, and now I think I might sell them, but I'm not sure. So that is over there and some other random things. Then flipping back around, I have my hole punch, some tissues, um, and some other odds and ends, etc. above the shelving there. I have a desk pad from Erin Codron. I used to use this a lot. I haven't used it in a while, but I kind of want to use it more. And then um, I actually have a photo calendar that is back there, but I've turned it around because it has all pictures of my kids. Um, and then on this desk, this is the desk that we don't sit at um, that I use for printing. So I do have my Silhouette uh, Cameo, my laminator, which is just an Amazon Basics laminator, and that's also how I do all of my foiling. And then I have two printers. I have a laser printer, which is Brother, and a inkjet printer, which is from Epson, and that is how I do all of my, my printing. Then coming down underneath my shelving um, that's under my desk on the side that we don't sit on. Um, in the end, I have one of those plastic storage bins. I don't remember where it's from, but it's all full of like sewing supplies. And then next to that, I have my silhouette cut mats and then all of my like printing type paper. So starting at the bottom, I actually have laminating pouches and then a bin for scrap paper. And coming up, I have my white card stocks for printing and all of my regular printing papers. I like, I have regular just 20 pound paper, uh, 32 paper, pound paper in glossy and uh, matte, and then as well 28 pound paper. Um, and then I have some of uh, the square scrapbooking paper that you buy individually because it doesn't fit on the other shelves or in the in the bins that is my other storage for the scrapbooking paper. Um, and then next to that, I have specialty papers that are like not for printing. So I have a Rodia dot grid, some watercolor paper, things like that. And then up here, I have a vellums and acetate and as well, a bunch of sticker paper. Coming over to the drawers, working from the bottom, I have some, so the bottom drawer of the drawing has some extra photo albums, some extra printer ink, my microphone, and a bunch of planner pouches and different things like that. Um, the next drawer up from there is full of TN uh, decorative supplies, so the, the fold-over elastic that I use to make my pen loops, a bunch of bows and flowers, um, all of the dash sleeves, things like that are stored in here. The top drawer has all of my foiling supplies, so all of my foil, um, foil sleeves, and then as well my undo and my... Uh, What's this called? This this is like that really strong super glue. Um, I forgot. Oh, E6000 glue. I was upside down. I was like, why can't I read that? Um, anyway, then my top drawer is sort of like an odds and ends drawer. It's just got like some pen gems, pen inserts that I like can't seem to get rid of, but I never use. Um, some other random washies, some folders that have things I'm currently working on, and some watercolor paints. Um, just kind of like a planner junk drawer. So giving you one last spin through the desk here again, I hope you enjoyed this video and that I wasn't too shaky while I was filming it. Um, <laughs> I am holding the camera by hand, which I don't usually do. Um, anyway, let me know if you like this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at MyCraftyPlans to keep up with everything going on in my planners. Bye.